Today I'm going to show you how to create this true or false slide using Apo Keynote. Alright, so the plan is to have a slide where we got true or false buttons and then the wrong answer will disappear and the correct answer will move to the center of the screen. Let's add a new slide. I select a blank layout, so nothing's here. I can simply add text and I can type in my statement. All right, I'm from Europe. That's my statement. I can make this text larger. I can go to the format on the right side and adjust. Size of the text, color, font, whatever I like. Everything's here. Alright, here's my statement. Now it's time to make buttons. So I use shape, I add shape. I got this rectangle with round corners. Let's move it to the left. We can modify the fill color on the right side in the format section. After you double click the shape, you will be able to type inside. That's what we need. We want to type inside true and then we can even modify this text. We can make it larger. It's already white, so I don't need to change the color. All right, here it is. There are some extra features like shadows. We can experiment with that. So we can put shadow under this shape. There are three styles here pre-made for us. All right, maybe this one. I got this button so I can simply duplicate this element. Right click on it, duplicate, and here's the copy. We can modify the text, we can type false, we can change the color of this element as well. That's what we need. So we got all three elements. We got the statement at the top of the slide and then we got two options, true or false. So you can show it to your audience, you can ask them to pick the answer and then after you click the wrong answer will disappear and the correct answer will move to the center of the slide. So let, let's add this feature now. I need to add animation to the wrong answer. So I select false and now I select animate. I need to add out, animation out. I want this element to disappear, to exit the scene. Maybe this one, very nice. All right, so after I click, this element will disappear. And also I want this true answer to move to the center of the slide. So not out, but the action. I want the action to happen. I want to move this element like this. We can modify the position more like here around the center of the screen. All right, this is the second animation that will happen. Number two. So everything is correct. The number one is disappearance of the wrong answer. And number two, the correct answer will move to the center of the screen. All right, let's test it out. So I'm going to click the play button now. Here it is. True or false slide. After you click, wrong answer disappear. Click second time. Correct answer move to the center. Nice. 